India is one of the 17 mega diverse countries in the world and I am fortunate to reside in Chhattisgarh, an Indian state which is rich in terms of forest cover, wildlife and biodiversity. Hello, I am Rashmi Agrawal from India and today I would like to discuss with you the issue of biodiversity of my state Chhattisgarh, challenges facing its conservation and strategies to conserve it. Chhattisgarh state has over 44% of its land area under forests and is very rich in biodiversity. The forests are also the origin of major rivers like the Indravati, Mahanadi and Narmada. The state has three national parks, 11 wildlife sanctuaries and three tiger reserves. To speak of the organisms involved, these forests boast of diverse plants and animals. Plants such as the sal, teak and bamboo are very predominant in these forests. Chhattisgarh, also called the herbal state, houses significantly rich and diverse medi medicinal plants and herbs, some of which are rare and endemic to this region. The rich fauna of this region includes the tiger, the leopards, the Indian bison, nilgai, sloth bear, wild dog, flying squirrels, porcupines and pangolins, monkeys and langoos, the reptiles like freshwater crocodiles, monitor lizards, chameleons, and snakes like the pythons, cobras and vipers, vipers and a very rich variety of colorful birds. Some rare and endangered species like the wild buffalo and the hill mina are also found in the state. Apart from the species diversity, the state is endowed with very rich genetic diversity also. Now, what is the problem? The state's forests and biodiversity face a number of threats from agriculture, industrial and urban expansion, unsustainable collection of fuel wood, harvesting of medicinal plants and non-timber forest products, diversion of forest lands for non-forestry purposes and above all mining of minerals. The state is very rich in minerals like coal, bauxite, iron ore, uranium etc. The development of mines and construction of roads and railways has led to both habitat destruction and fragmentation. Biodiversity provides us resources such as food, medicinal resources and pharmaceutical drugs, wood products, ornamental plants, fibers, fuel, energy, fertilizers, fodder, etc. If we look at its broader importance, it provides a number of natural services such as protection of water resources, soil formation and protection, nutrient storage and recycling, pollution breakdown and absorption, contribution to climate stability, maintenance of ecosystem, etc. Looking at the rate at which we are destroying the air, water and soil of our planet, what are we going to leave for our children and future generations? Such indiscriminate destruction of biodiversity is much greater threat to human survival than even climate change. And tragically, both can act synergistically to escalate human extinction faster. All this has made me passionate for helping in saving the biodiversity of Earth in every possible way. I would like to say, everything is not lost yet. All that, that is required is awareness, motivation, strong will and implementation at the ground level. I am a member of an NGO, the Biodiversity Society of Chhattisgarh. We do assessment of possible damages to the environment and the biodiversity of places in Chhattisgarh where prospective roads, railway lines, mines or industries are to be constructed. I shall be in the core team for conservation of wildlife, avifauna, rare and endangered plants and the water resources of these areas.
in future i intend to conduct lectures with the tribals and other indigenous people of the state residing in and around forest areas and with rich cultural traditions and practices and i shall encourage them to maintain their unique relationship with forests for mutual benefit i plan to participate in the citizen science camps organized by a ngo to spread the concept of people protected area or ppa as the new vision of chatisgarh state the emphasis in people's protected area is on initiating a proactive and people friendly management systems wherein protected areas are managed by the people for the people i along with my husband have constituted an eco club so that environmental awareness could be taken to the society through children we plan to do regular planting of saplings organize bird walks debates and quizzes to make them understand the importance of biodiversity and environmental conservation to sum up i would like to quote a saying in sanskrit language prakriti rakshati rakshita which means in english nature protects if she is protected thank you